Hello everyone, this is Rushlock, and we have a big article today posted by CCP Helmar, who of course is Helmar, CEO of CCP Games, uh, titled Blockchain and EVE Online. So there's been a lot of discussion uh, about Helmar attending certain conferences and meetings and statements being made uh, that had spun up the player base and had concerns about CCP wanting to incorporate NFT and blockchain technology into EVE Online. So let's get into the article here. There has been a lot of speculation around blockchain technology, NFTs, and cryptocurrency, and what that means for the future of EVE Online. So I wanted to address it, which is good because, in my opinion, a lot of the speculation has been done by Helmar. Uh, at CCP, our mission is to have the EVE universe outlive us all. EVE forever. One huge part of this is exploring new technologies and new possibilities, something EVE players know that I'm always fascinated by. This philosophy is rooted in EVE's online's inception. When we created EVE, it was seen as too radical and ambitious, and yet, here we are about to celebrate EVE's 19th anniversary. So in all fairness, this is absolutely true. Hilmar has, has a very established history of, uh, I guess there's different ways to phrase it. One, being very, very interested in new technologies and how to incorporate it and how to leverage it uh, into a popular product. Or B, uh, Hilmar finding the new shiny thing to chase down the, the street. Um, both are, are you know, pretty well rooted in their different views or perspectives of it. But again, it's, it's consistent. Like that, that part is absolutely true. Uh, let's see. Many of us at CCP have been following the new frontier that has been developing around blockchains and cryptocurrencies for the past few years. We've read your feedback and we also see what you see. Blockchain tech has both a lot of untapped potential and a lot of work needed before being ready for EVE scale games. So... Uh, this is an interesting perspective point to me because it mentions, you know, looking at the feedback and admittedly, most of the feedback that I see is negative toward incorporating NFT or blockchain technology into EVE Online. Um, does that mean that there isn't any or any significant amount of positive feedback? You know, are there people asking for this? Uh, and and from what's popped across my feed, I, I, I haven't seen any. That doesn't mean that they don't exist. They simply aren't very vocal. Uh, maybe those who are proponents of NFT and blockchain technology, you know, have already been in this conversation for, for a couple of years now and have simply exhausted themselves of screaming into the wind. Um, admittedly, most of the people that you see speaking out negatively toward it uh, are also completely ignorant of how it works or any details about it whatsoever. They're just echoing what everyone else is saying. They just, you know, regurgitate what they hear and want to get on the, the, hate, pipe, the hate hype train. Um, what I find I get more, I guess more interesting about this section is more, uh, it's like the first acknowledgement of like, hey, this isn't going to be something that's, that's for EVE. Uh, on that note, we have no plans to add blockchain technology into EVE Online's global server tranquility for the foreseeable future. And this is part that, that even I myself yesterday when I first read this had kind of latched onto with like, what does foreseeable future mean? Well, it turns out the answer is in the very next line. For the coming years, development for Tranquility will focus on building exciting new opportunities on top of the robust foundation that has been laid over the past two decades. So all I can provide is my takeaway from, from statements being made. And that's that for the next few years, at least, uh, there's no active implementation of blockchain technology or NFTs related to EVE Online. Some people will be happy about that. Some people will be disappointed about it. Uh, more so from the disappointment from the aspect of, the, of it not being ruled out entirely. But uh, anyone at this point who is looking for hard lines to be drawn and, and held and, and promises made uh, either hasn't been paying attention, maybe you haven't been around very long in the uh, video game industry itself, and not just EVE Online, but you shouldn't be looking for these types of promises to be held, made and, and, and held to. Uh, and I think this is fair in terms of saying, like, look, for now, it's not an issue. Um Something else that was very specific, however, was only Tranquility was mentioned. So does that mean Serenity is, you know, fair game for, for, the, for the tech development? Will Serenity turn into a test server for it? Maybe, maybe not. There's no hard evidence to suggest that it will be. Just that I found it interesting that Tranquility was specifically mentioned. But I think the next uh, paragraph kind of explains why that's the case. While we remain intrigued by the technology, for us, NFT stands for Not For Tranquility. Overall, the EVE IP will continue to push the boundaries of digital economies and virtual worlds, and we will continue to explore that outside of TQ. This is like one of the shortest paragraphs in the post, but to me, possibly the most interesting. Uh, first, we get some, you know, marketing nonsense that, you know, just meant to 
uh, get get a reaction out of you and and and, and I don't know. Just it just seemed to me very very humorous. Uh, overall, the Eve IP. I don't see the Eve IP reference very often. We've got Eve Echoes and Eve Online. Uh, Valkyrie is already dead, but it's still on the market. Uh, we don't see a lot of a lot of acknowledgement toward growing an Eve IP. You know, I for one like that idea. I've talked about this on stream many a times. I'd love to see the card game, the the RTS, the so on and so forth, which. Maybe we'll make a separate video about that. Apparently, there's a survey going out right now in email format. Uh, again, this is rumor. I've seen screenshots, but I can't attest to the veracity or the authenticity of them. Probably be a better word. Uh, but apparently, the email survey is looking for playtesters for a 4X mobile game uh, with the Eve IP. Could be interesting. Could be something. Could be nothing. We'll have to wait and see how that develops. Uh, let's see. I continue to push boundaries, digital economies, virtual worlds. So this is telling me they're working on other projects that are using the EVIP and that these will be using NFTs and or blockchain technology. Uh, it's like a, it's like an indirect statement of facts. Um, maybe they didn't want to be too heavy handed and bold about it, but to me, that seems pretty straightforward on what they're saying here. Uh, we will continue to explore that outside of TQ. So they're actively, CCP is actively looking for ways to incorporate blockchain and NFT technology into projects that they're currently working on. Not future, but but current. Uh, FanFest is a month out, and personally, let me stop right there. So this is the reason for the post, all right? In, in my opinion, FanFest is coming up. This is a, a preemptive attempt at defusing uh, some of the more angry nerds, and maybe, I, I don't know, I haven't kept up the news cycle for FanFest. I don't know if they're like protests were planned or, you know, anything like that was coming down the, the pipe, but uh, this seems like a way to get ahead of that, that narrative. FanFest is a month out, and personally, I'm very excited. It's been two and a half years since our last in-person meet in London during the EVE World Tour. I look forward to seeing many of you in the flesh again and talk about EVE and our future, CCP Helmar. So yeah, this is this is the reason this, this post even exists. FanFest is coming up, and understandably and correctly, they don't want it being derailed uh, with the focus on, on this topic. Um, but yeah, that, that's the whole post breakdown, my view of it. Uh, I'm sure some of you have opinions as well, so leave them in the comments down below. Uh, the way YouTube works, it's all algorithms and, and space magic, so uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, we're supposed to be shilling the subscribe button a lot harder, apparently. It's the YouTube meta. Uh, they've been look, pushing analytics at us, like, did you know that you know less than 10% of your, your viewers are subscribed? Like, okay, fine. We'll put the shill in there and see if it has any impact. So that was everything. I cannot stress enough. Put in comments. I, I want to. I, I enjoy on the weekends going through the YouTube con my comments and and responding to the responses I see posted. So if you're able to do so, if you have thoughts and, and perspectives on this, you might have read something to this that I completely missed. It's entirely possible. So share it, and I'll respond as I'm able to. Uh, enjoy yourself, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.